にこもつぜいなののせい。<笑><笑>はい。But for now, we're gonna head to the gym and I'm gonna get as much footage as I can. So bear with me and、uh, things are looking good right now. I'll catch you on the next clip. What's up, everybody? Welcome to a commentary. It's been so, so long, but I'm gonna go ahead and get you through this pull workout. We start out with pull ups, and I did not record this because I didn't have a good angle, but here showing is、um, four sets of eight on. Lat wide grip pull downs. As you can see,、uh, my main focus here is pulling with my elbows and not my my hands. My hands are like hooks. And another thing, another tip is to keep your your thumb hanging out and not using to not gripping、uh, the bar too much as like a what is it like how you grip like a baseball bat. I like to stick one thumb out, like、uh, if you paid close attention to my thumbs, it, you can just rewind the video back. But my thumbs are hanging out.、Uh, use that、uh, next time, or keep that in mind the next time you do a lap pull down. Then, next exercise, I did、uh, four sets of 10 on、uh, forgot what these are called dumbbell rows. <laughs> I was thinking like lawnmower, whatever. But dumbbell rows, I like to do it、uh, hanging on an、uh, inclined bench and、uh, Key thing here is a lot of people stop when their elbows or their arms come to their back. I like to go a little bit higher than my back and get that full range of motion in that squeeze. All right, next exercise I did four sets of six on deadlifts. It's been so, so long since I deadlifted and my strength was just not there. So I left my ego at the door and I did, you know, just 225. So I was happy with that. Then the next exercise, I went on to the machine.、Um, it's basically the same、uh, movement as like a seated cable row, but I feel it on the machine way, way more. So I like it that way. And then after that, I went on to my last back exercise, and it is a straight arm pull down. And、um, it's for me, it's,、um, it's I, I have to use the right attachment for this, for this, for me to actually feel it. So,、um, this attachment was okay, but it was all I had, so I stuck with it. But I did four sets of eight on that one, and then the next exercise, I did、uh, something for my rear delts since it's part of my back and my traps.、Um, I did、uh, these cable face pulls, I did about four sets of eight as well, and you're literally fooling, pulling <laughs> into your face. And the key thing there is to align it a, a little bit. Close to your height. That's the best way so you can get the full range of motion. Then I went on to do biceps, and my first bicep exercise was just、um, a machine preacher curl. And I'm just trying to get my strength back right now as I'm into this prep. And、uh, I didn't go too heavy on these because I want full range of motion there all the way down and all the way up with the squeeze. I did about four sets of eight on that. That's basically the rep range for this whole workout. I did about four sets of eight on everything. Then moving on, I just did alternating, alternating dumbbell curls.、Um, here, uh, like I said, focusing on、uh, my form and working on getting my strength back up. I'm only curling 20s here, and like I'm gassed. I don't know why, but like I was having a good workout and I felt everything. It was great, but my, my body, like I guess because I work, worked out fasted this morning, and I guess I shouldn't do that anymore because I always feel better when I have more carbs. But next exercise, I ended my arm day with、uh, some dumbbell hammer curls. I usually do like I、uh, burn out on each set, but that's gonna conclude this commentary. And、uh, I'm gonna show y'all like a little, I guess you can say snippet of 
what I do after every workout. I practice some posing. It's not the best posing. That's why, obviously, it's practice. I practice for about uh, 10 minutes, 10 minutes a day after every workout. And then I play around with my pose, like uh, some flexing and some posing. And make sure I, you know, I feel comfortable and I'm actually flexing each muscle that, you know, that's part of the pose. And, um, yeah, and also I get some pictures for Instagram. But, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this commentary. And, uh, as, like, you can see from the title of the video, it is a full day of eating. So, keep watching the video. Love y'all. I will catch y'all in the next commentary. Quick update. Uh, left the gym. I need to run a few errands. And, um, I decided to, to do a full day of eating episode today. So, um, it's about... I don't even know what time it is like I'm gonna say 12 30 1 o'clock and I haven't eaten anything I worked out fasted this morning so uh hope y'all enjoy the rest of this episode and uh I'll catch y'all in the next clip what's up y'all I'm about to show y'all my very first meal of the day unfortunately it's so late and yeah I've been running errands all day but here's what I'm doing now I'm watching some how I met your mother while I'm eating let me pause this real quick mm. Uh, I got uh, some jasmine rice. I got like a cup and a half. And uh, this um, fruit, not fruit, <laughs> this vegetable medley. It's like amazing and it has amazing uh, macros. And I got eight ounces of grilled chicken here. And I'm going to sprinkle some, uh, some soy sauce there. And I went shopping today and I bought a bunch of stuff. And I am super happy with what I got. And um, I have so many more things to snack on that are macro friendly so just keep watching this video and uh, i'll catch y'all with my next meal next not next meal but i'm just gonna snack on this uh fiber one chewy bar and uh hold on this is really loud um yeah i'm gonna snack on this fiber one it is oats and chocolate has amazing macros as far as fiber goes um Where's the fiber? Nine grams of fiber in one bar. And I usually eat these tortillas that have carb, they're carb balanced and they have about like nine grams of fiber as well. So I hit like my fiber almost every day and I recommend y'all do that too. It's like uh, hitting your fiber means uh, being full longer and you know, um, helping you digest your food to make you go to the restroom more. That's what it helps me for. But I'll catch y'all on my next meal. Well, here's my last meal of the day. I'm gonna show it to y'all and I'm gonna throw the macros on the screen. So here's what we got. We got a little garden salad with uh, some zesty Italian and some four cheese. Um, why did I say that? Four cheese cheese, I guess. Uh, and I made some uh, fried rice, some chicken fried rice uh, with some egg whites and uh, that vegetable medley that I always use. Oh my gosh, hold on one second and um and some chicken so that's my dinner for now and then i think i have i'm gonna drink a protein shake before i go to bed and um at, before my protein shake i'm gonna eat uh an oikos uh triple zero yogurt it's usually what i eat every day uh, i eat one of these every day and they're delicious 15 grams of protein uh you know zero sugar zero artificial sweeteners and zero fat but i'll you know catch on the next meal all right so i got two scoops of protein here two cups of fat-free milk the protein i'm using is of course impact away from my protein my protein has unbeatable deals and savings all year round and uh, if you ever want to save some money there's gonna be a code in the bottom as always and click that link then use my code to save you some money but that is gonna conclude my full day of eating well and then after I drink that I'm gonna eat this Oikos triple yogurt but that's gonna conclude my full day of eating thanks for watching this video I love y'all glad to be back it's gonna be more videos I'm shooting for three videos a week so bear with me I'll catch y'all in the next video don't forget to like, comment, share, or subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. I'll see you on the next one. Carson, say subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs>